Hey, what is up guys? Um, this is not really a video that I ever thought that I would be making. Uh, I never thought that I would be sitting here telling you what happened to me. Now, some of you guys may know because I posted on my community tab as well as put out a tweet. Some of you may not know. I did do a live stream the other day where I talked about this stuff briefly, but on the early morning uh, hours of August the 15th, the house that Nick and I were staying at uh, burnt down. Now, before I get into this, um, we are going to be going into litigation about this, so I'm kind of like capped at what I can say. There's a lot that I really could say. Uh, there's gonna be a lot that's gonna come out, and eventually, once we go through the court system, I'll be able to share that stuff with you guys. But on August the 15th, the house, Gingerard's house, burnt down, and uh, it almost took me, the dogs, it did take the cats, with it so we lost our cats now you guys know if you followed me for a long time um or anytime um from maybe april or august of 2021 that nick's mom passed away in august of 2021 due to covid and our lives have never really been the same since um so we've dealt with that and now we're having to like literally pick up the pieces of the puzzle of our whole life again and it, this has been one of the most trying, hard things that I think that I've ever been through and that I will ever go through. It's not only hard for me as somebody that has been through this, um, it's also hard to watch Nick and all the loss that he's dealt with with this, especially since the cats belong to his mother, and then to watch my friend Jen Gerard literally lose everything. Like, she had so much stuff that she had from the time that she moved out the first time when she was an adult up until now. And that devastation is very hard to like not be emotionally moved by. Now, there's been a lot of people that have asked me, Nick and Jen, how they could support us through this because we're not doing a GoFundMe. We're not doing any of that stuff because I feel like there's other people out there that would need that more. So we don't want to take away from people that actually really need things. But if you guys want to support us, you guys know that I have been uh, using Hair AF. I don't know if this is going to focus, but this is my bottle of Hair AF. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It's not going to focus, but this is my bottle of Hair AF. It's completely changed my life. And right now it's 30% off. This is not a sponsored video, but if you use code Dustin, you'll get 30% off of this as well as your, your whole purchase. And you'll get free shipping on orders over $50. But this is the best way to support us. If you can support Gerard Cosmetics, that really, 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 really helps Jen. Now, if you use code Dustin, that is an affiliate code, so I'll make a little bit of money off of that as well. But you guys know the, uh, the results with this stuff speaks for itself because I was damn near balding and my hair was falling out. So I wanted to put that out there. So if you guys would like, I know that... Uh, a lot of you have shown a lot of interest in this, but you said that the price may be too high. This doesn't go on sale too much, but occasionally Jen will make our codes work, and right now my code is working. I really don't have a cutoff date for this. Um, we'll probably run it for like three or four days. We'll probably run it for like three or four days after this video is put up. I don't know when I'm gonna be posting this video. So uh, code Dustin on Gerard Cosmetics will get you 30% off, um, free shipping over $50. But this stuff is like a miracle. If you can look here, you can see the before and after. Uh, has changed my life. <laughs> it's one of the many things that have changed my life. But uh, with that said, I wanted to kind of talk about how I feel because like, this has been jarring to me because I just got back to some semblance of normalcy with us um, moving and relocating to Texas. You guys know that we're working on our candle business and uh, there's a lot of stuff that we put into that. Um, there's It's just been setback after setback. And then for this fire to happen, and literally for it to put us out on the street. We've been moving from Airbnb to Airbnb for a, a while now, and it's just becoming so much. Like we've went and looked at houses. It's just, it's just like we cannot find anything that meets our needs and that will work for us. And we're not being choosy, obviously. We, we did live in a very large home. It was a mansion, but we don't even need that. We're just trying to find a place that feels like home. And it's just like, we get stonewalled at every single like thing like we went and viewed a house the other day and beautiful home everything we were getting ready to put in the application and then the real estate person was pretty much just like okay i'm gonna work on this we're gonna see what we can do and then they messaged us back a couple of hours later and then just to find out that it had been in like a dispute with the divorce 
um, with the people that were renting it out. So we're not gonna get that house, I don't think. And then we looked at another house, which is like 45 minutes away from the city where we stay. And it's just so hard to make that commute. So it's not working out for us in my favor, but I have to honestly believe that this is all happening for a reason because <laughs> I just don't think that you, someone can go through something like this without it changing them forever and um, making them stronger. I'm tired of things making me stronger. And this is a bit rambly. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this all in one take. But I also wanted to thank a few people that have tried and actually like made us feel somewhat normal. Um, you guys know we lost literally everything from face wash to toothbrushes, all of that. Nick just replaced my Diamond Clean toothbrush the other day. But there was some really kind people that Jen is friends with that, um, that have sent us all kinds of things like face masks, facial steamers, um, <laughs> like all kinds of different things like jewels. Uh, let me just go through the list and I'll tell you guys because I want to talk about all the good before I get into the bad you'll understand why here in a moment. Um, I wanted to thank Susie Small, Bella from PR, Jessica, Stephanie from My Divine Inspirations. You guys, I'm gonna link My Divine Inspirations in my uh, description box of this video. She sent us all of these different crystals like selenite. She sent us like all these really pretty geodes. I have one that looks like a heart. She just sent us all these very comforting like crystals and stuff and she has a whole bunch of stuff over there and this is not sponsored in any way but she really did send us some beautiful pieces. So I'm gonna link her because she is definitely worth looking at. Holly Nugent, Vanity Planet, Peace Out Skincare, Kevin James Bennett. Kevin James Bennett sent us so much skincare and you guys, a couple years ago, I did have a spat with Kevin James Bennett but the fact that he was so kind to Jen and the fact that he sent her all these different things because Jen was like freaking out over skincare. <laughs> like you guys have no idea how much she lost in skincare. But I want to thank you, Kevin James Bennett, for that because that put a smile on Jen's face at a time where there really wouldn't have been otherwise. So that really moved my heart and I have nothing but respect for you, Kevin. I am so sorry for like cursing you out in the past. <laughs> over James Charles, I think. I, I don't even know what, what that was over, but thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, Kelly Baker Brows, Gabby Rose Makeup, you guys. Jen was totally devastated that her face master was destroyed. She had like multiple face masters and Gabby Rose sent her more. So thank you so much, Gabby Rose. Uh, Anissa Beauty, Elaine from Spun Gel, you guys. These Spun Gel things, I don't know if you've ever heard of Spun Gel, but it's essentially just this like, uh, it's a sponge and it feels so good and it has soap already in it and it's good for like 30 uses. It's so good. It's almost like a body buffer. Like it exfoliates your skin. It feels good. I had never heard of spun gel before and they have so many different scents and they're hand washed. You guys, they make soap. It smells so freaking good. Like the best like soap I've ever smelled. And I love Bath the Body Works soap. Like they have nothing on spun gel soap. And then I wanna thank Mermaid Hair, Farm X, and Harper's Haven. Um, and all of these people, like there wasn't a day that went by after this maybe that we didn't get a package from someone, just a care package with cards saying how much they felt sorry for us and stuff like that. So I mean, I really, I don't have a way to thank any of these people other than saying this in the video. Thank you guys so much for comforting all of us, me, Nick, and Jen, at a very horrible time in our lives. Um, so with all the like good stuff out of the way, I kind of want to talk about the bad stuff. Um, like I said before, I'm really limited in what I can say, but basically this house burning down, in my opinion, could have been prevented. I feel like we lived in a 9,000 square foot oven because we had no smoke detectors. Uh, we had smoke detectors, they just were not uh, enabled. They didn't work. None of us were none the wiser. You think when you live in a mansion, like a multi-million dollar mansion, that um, your smoke detectors will work and we just never had any inclination to, to check them because you just would assume that they would. But you can't really assume that anymore. And you guys, I'm telling you, make sure that you have smoke detectors. Make sure that they work. If that thing is beeping, put a battery in it. This could have went so bad so quickly because literally after Nick came and got me and me, him, and Jen got out of the house, us begging them to get our cats will always be in the back of my mind. 
I, I feel so guilty because I was unable to save these caps. This, this really sucks. Um, I almost say I want to hate myself for it. I don't hate myself. I just feel really, really bad. But we beg the firefighters. It's very important that you keep a leash by your bed at night if you have a dog. That way you can just easily get them out. There's just so many different things in you guys. This has really inspired me and it's inspired Nick and it's inspired Jen. So when we come out with our candle line, we are working on it now. Obviously, you guys know um, we want to contribute uh, to charities for like people that have suffered like losses and fires because we've heard stories from people that have lost everything um, and only had like a few bucks to their name. And that's just I honestly can't imagine how somebody can do that like how do you make a way out of no way like that so I mean we're gonna be doing that there's gonna be details coming on that but I also wanted to talk about some trash now typically I would not give these people the time of day because they're just leeches on society and all they do is look at other people's woes and they delight in that um, but we're gonna be talking now about some trash and um, I don't care if you like what I'm going to say. It doesn't make no difference to me one way or the other. Because if you agree with what they say, you're basically wishing death upon me. You're wishing death upon Nick. And you're wishing death upon Jen. So if you agree with this, it's all offense. You can unsubscribe from this channel and never see my face again. I don't give a shit what your opinion of me is. If you agree with what I'm about to tell you. Now, there were people obviously being nasty. There were obviously people delighting in the destruction of our house and our life. You guys, this has turned my life upside down. And like, I was just actually getting really comfortable in making content. That's why I made the Courtney Taylor video. And there's a lot about that video that happened that entails the fire, if that makes sense, because I, I got very sick from the fire. And when I was editing that video, like I was out of my head um, from smoke inhalation. Um, I went ahead and posted it anyway because I needed a video to post and obviously I haven't posted since then, but this has really like derailed me. I have not been able to sit down and script things. I've not been able to research things. I don't feel comfortable sitting down recording because I want to give you guys good quality. It's just like I have all these different things weighing on me and I can't find a happy medium, especially not in a home where I'm comfortable. You know what I mean? We've been moving around so much. It's very hard to sit down and film and then on top of that. We lost every single bit of um, filming equipment that we had. Uh, this ring light that I have now, I just had to repurchase. Well, Nick repurchased it. It's not been easy. I don't have a microphone anymore. I want to get back into content, but I don't want to make shitty content. I don't want to make quick content anymore. I want to make long content. And while I can research and do all these different things, it's hard to do that and juggle it with trying to find a house, trying to find new furniture, trying to replace the things that we lost and put our life back together. So I don't know how I'm going to do YouTube the way I was before because I was putting a lot of work in research and all that different stuff. But I'm going to find a way, you guys, if you have ideas for me that may be simple, let me know down below. Um... I could research and probably put things together. It's not going to be highly edited. I could sit here and like read you my notes and go over it with my thoughts and stuff. So let me know about that down below. But I want to talk about A, it's tea time for a minute. And normally, like I said, I would not ever want to give these people any kind of platform because they don't have a sizable one anyway. All they do is run their mouth and talk down on people. Uh, it's always punching, uh, punching up with them. But... Among other tweets, on uh, the 21st of August, literally this would have been, what, seven days after we lost everything, lost our cats, almost lost our lives. I don't know if this is Mocha or Nikki. I'm going to assume this is Nikki because for some reason this dude really hates all of us and I don't know why. Um, well, I mean, I probably know why, but it's not a good reason. But he said, when something bad happens to someone horrible, it's probably best to avoid saying they had it coming. Though this may be true, saying it only affords them a platform to play victim instead of a simple, that's unfortunate, will suffice. Now, I'm not even going to cut this out because I don't really give two shits and I know you pieces of shit are going to be watching this. What you just said is the equivalent of wishing death upon me because I, out of everyone, 
And I don't know who this was directed at, so I'm going to just take it as you directing it at all of us because we all went through this very unfortunate event. That's you wishing death upon me because I literally almost died. Out of everyone, I was the closest to death. Like, literally. I was out of my head from smoke inhalation. So I want you to know that while you're sitting here saying that we basically deserve this while we lost everything, including our fucking animals. I don't know how anyone could even put some shit like this on the internet and say this in a way like this to someone that just lost every fucking thing. So you're not just saying that I deserve that. You're not just saying that Nick deserves that. And we know that you hate us. You're saying that about Jen Gerard, who has absolutely done not one fucking thing to you. Jen has lost literally everything and you will never know what it's like to see someone get happy over a burnt up box of her cat's ashes. Like she literally crawled through this rubble to get her burnt up animal, like cremation remains and was so happy to see it. You don't have to see any, you've never had to see anyone go through something so traumatic and so horrible, so life altering and life changing. And then for you to get on the internet and say some nasty vile shit like this, Nikki, like I knew the bar was low with you and Mocha, but it's, it doesn't exist anymore. You guys are the worst types of people. The fact that you're just okay willy nilly just basically saying that someone should have died because that's essentially what you said. That's essentially that's essentially what you said, dude. That is basically what you said. With this right here, dude. This tweet right here. I like I don't know what kind of person is okay with this and this got a lot of likes. There's a lot of people out here liking this type of shit. And I want you to know that every single one of you people, even though I despise you and I cannot stand you and I would walk the other way if I ever saw you coming even remotely close to me because I couldn't stand to be around you. I would not wish what we went through on you. If, I just wouldn't because this has changed me in a way that I don't ever think that I will be okay. I have PTSD like a motherfucker now. The lights flicker. If I smell something that just doesn't smell right, it fucks me up. And this is something that I'm going to have to work through. And I've already dealt with PTSD from <laughs> other things in my life. So this is just something else that adds on top of it. But the fact that anybody would feel comfortable in saying this just proves that what I thought about you and all of you that are associated with these motherfuckers is true. You're all pond scum. You're all disgusting, deplorable pieces of shit, and you really, truly don't deserve a platform to say this type of vitriolic shit. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, and I know this video is rambly. There's not really a good way for me to say or convey just how fucked up this has me. And how hard it's been to even like sit down and film a video because I can't even get my thoughts together because there's so much I want to say, but there's so much I can't say at the same time. But what I will do is I'll leave this video off with some footage from this house that burnt down that we lived in. Um, so you guys can get a good understanding of how we almost didn't make it and how I could possibly potentially not be sitting here now if... Nick wasn't awake, probably would have all died. So I hope you guys are okay sitting with the fact that you wish death upon us. Thank all of you guys that have been so kind, caring and compassionate and just overly just comforting in this horrible time in my life, in Jen's life and in Nick's life. Um, I'm gonna put in some drone footage, maybe some a slideshow of some pictures for you guys to see the destruction that is the house that we stayed in. And I don't know when, but I'll be back shortly. I'll pick up the pieces just like I have before and we'll carry on. But you guys, thank you again for being so supportive. Thank you all for the kind words. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.